I was on the way up there the other day. I got to confess this, don't I, Lord? And uh, some dummy sitting on the side of the road in his pickup truck, right? And I'm coming down 77 at about 75, and all them numbers confused me. Anyway, I was coming down through there, and this guy pulls out in front of me. So I switched over in the other lane. Thank God nothing was coming, and I went around him. I believe he had a buzz on the way he was driving. He ran up on my bumper, and uh, I don't like that. And I, I just kind of ignored him, and then he went around me, and he's doing this, you know. Then he got in front of me and he slowed down and I, I tried to go around him and he'd speed up. He's messing with me. Then I got a little fleshy. Amen. I admit it. Amen. I shot his tar. No, I'm dead. No, I didn't. I'm just kidding. I didn't. I wanted to. But I, I went on and uh, I let him get ahead of me and I could hear God talking to me. I know what to do when that happens. You need to get off the road for a minute and just chill out. But I done got mad. I done got all ash meated up and and I wasn't going to pull off the road. <laughs> and, uh, we hit Camp Creek Mountain, and I tried to go around him, and he wouldn't let me. And I stomped that little six-cylinder van down, and I went around him, and I left him sitting in the dust. And it felt good. And I let off right before 100, y'all. I ain't going to lie about it. It was a little over 95. And uh, I left him. He couldn't catch me. That little thing runs like a little sports car. And I was like, yeah, boy. And then God said, what are you doing? I went, oh. So I let off, and uh, I let him go on around me, but he gently went around me the next time, like, wow, that van runs better than I thought it would. And, uh, yeah, took some of the air out of his cells, but I sinned. And uh, um, the Lord got on to me years ago about driving fast, and I just I let that guy push me and get me over into the flesh. Somebody said that happens. But you got to repent when you do that. How many of y'all ever done stuff like that? Thank you very much. And uh, some of y'all got other things you do when you get fleshed out. Whatever it is, uh, I have to be real with you and tell you that I miss it sometimes. And uh, it felt good, too. <laughs> and uh, the Lord has to keep a check on me or I'd, I'd have a name in the blotters. Amen? Your pastor ain't perfect, but I promise you I'm honest. And if I do something like that, I got to tell you. So... Uh, Always watch your flesh and people, people pushing you and people rubbing you the wrong way, people getting you worked up, because it can happen. Amen, Brother Eddie. It can happen quick, fast, and in a hurry of you. Somebody say God's good. I got something on my heart that's burning on my heart about forgiveness, y'all. And I taught on, I probably got a ministry of forgiveness. I preach on forgiveness and I preach on marriage and, and how to make your marriage sweet probably more than anything I've ever preached on in the last 37 years. And uh, forgiveness is something that I have to deal with every day. You don't ever get above getting angry at somebody or frustrated at people. And you got to be real careful when they get you so worked up that you, like that guy, that wasn't personal. You know, I'd like to pull his lips out and let him go like a rubber band, but I wasn't mad at him. I didn't hate him or anything. He probably had a buzz on, and uh, I had to go around him, y'all. He pulled out right in front of me, man, and uh, did, he didn't like it. He probably don't even remember that right now, but I do. <laughs> and and God, God will mess with you when you do things wrong like that. And uh, I promise you I ain't above it. But I thank God for his forgiveness, and I thank God for his grace and his mercy. You say, Eddie, it ain't that big a deal. Well, I made a covenant with God, and I promised the Lord when he let me have a motorcycle again that I wouldn't run the law, I wouldn't pass on double lines, I wouldn't speed through town at 80 mile an hour, I wouldn't pop wheelies, I wouldn't do, a, I'd drive like I had some sense. So it's, it's a promise that I made God, and every once in a while, I miss it. And you got to go back and fix it. And you just got to tell them you're truly sorry. And you got to stand up here like a dummy and repent to everybody. And uh, that's the best way to do it. Because I don't like doing that. But I want to be real with you. Somebody say, be real, Eddie. I don't know any other way to be. So whatever you promise God, y'all, when you miss it, you need to make it right. And confession is good for the soul. And there ain't nobody in here going to judge you. If I can do it, you can do it. And there's times you need to stand up and say, man, I messed up. I messed up. And I need prayer. And uh, I know I was wrong and I shouldn't have done it. 
One thing you got to be very careful of is, is people getting you so mad that you get bitterness set up in you. It's like a sour thing that happens inside. It's like you clabber inside, man. You ever drank milk when it sours and you get your big mouth full and you got to spit it real quick, but you swallowed it and you can't? And it was soured milk. And uh, my wife is the 